kids need to be able to feel comfortable to approach a teacher to say, listen, there's something happening here in terms of prejudice or racism. Uh, can you help me? If I could have my time again, I'd love my teacher to have been the, the person to speak about racism in the class and make sure that everybody in the class understands from day one that we're not going to accept it in this environment. In 2006, Barcelona player Samuel Eto'o threatened to walk off the pitch after suffering racial abuse from fans. Historically, football has been a breeding ground for racism. St John's Primary School is one of several schools invited to the launch of a new DVD from charity Show Racism the Red Card, being held at Manchester United's Old Trafford ground. Professional football is one area where people from lots of different backgrounds enjoy working together. But many players have experienced racism in the past. They want to get rid of racism in society and keep racism out of football. In the 1970s and 80s, the first black players often suffered terrible racial abuse. Monkey chanting, booing, even in its most extreme cases, throwing of bananas. And, and obviously, uh, that was something that uh, anybody would find difficult to actually deal with. It was warming up at the sidelines, and that was daunting, because as I warmed up the sidelines, um, to hear all this racial abuse, and I turned around, expecting it to be um, the way supporters, found out it was my home supporters, and it was really hurtful. More recently, England players received racist abuse in away games. We should be recounting how well the 5,000 or so England fans conducted themselves in Madrid, but the actions of some of the Spanish crowds towards England's black players has dominated events. Oh, that's dreadful, the way they're shouting every time Sean Wright Phillips gets anywhere near the ball. After the DVD showing, it's time for a question and answer session. First of all, because you need no introduction at all, we'll ask Rio Ferdinand to come and take a seat in the middle of our panel, please. <laughs> Rio's joined by a number of current and ex-players, including Andrew Cole and John Barnes. Alethea from St John's is chosen to ask the players a question. Have you ever experienced racism? If so, has it affected your life? Yeah, I think all of us have received a little bit of uh, racism at some point in our lives, in our careers. Um, I did, I went training at a, a club, uh, which I won't name, um, when I was about 13 years old, 14 years old, and uh, one of the uh, players that I was playing against called me a few names. At first I tried to, to kick him, which wasn't the right thing to do. I quickly realised that and um, I pulled the manager after the training session and told him, listen, I don't think I want to come back here because I don't like the atmosphere at the club. Uh, the, one of the boys is calling me names, uh, uh, racist names. And luckily, I was, I was under a good manager there. The manager told the boy to stop, um, which he didn't. He'd done it again the next training session. And then the manager kicked the lad out of the, out of the club. So the manager done the right thing after me as well, doing the right thing and telling him, so. Does racism affect your nerves when you're playing? Me personally, no. I, I, when I was playing, for me, if I ever <laughs> suffered racism at any time, it made me a lot stronger. It made me want to perform at a much higher level, you know, because a certain situation in your life you've got to overcome. And I think when you're playing sport, the best way to excel in sport is to give your best. You know, nine times out of ten, you always come out the other way feeling a lot better and a lot stronger through all, all adversity. So it makes you feel a lot better. You know, for me, it made me feel a lot better anyway, definitely. Have you got any advice for, like, mainly for the kids about how to deal with racism? When you receive racist abuse, Someone is trying to dehumanise you, they're trying to belittle you, they're trying to say to you that you are inferior to them because of your colour, because of your religion, because of wherever your ethnicity. So you have to have a sense of belief and identity into who you actually are because we can achieve anything regardless of our colour. In football, in education, then that empowers you. So as much as people are trying to look down on you, don't let them look down on you. Don't feel inferior because that's what they're trying to do. I used to get fan mail from fans from all over the country saying, how could I play with three coloured lads? And I used to find that just absolutely amazing, disgusting. I used to uh, reply back to these people and just saying there was nothing that they could say would ever stop me from playing with teammates and I wasn't bothered what colour or what country they were from. They would never stop me. 
And I think that's the, the thing you've got to be. You've got, actually got to be strong. You guys know what peer pressure is like at, at school right now. It's tough, isn't it, sometimes? With bullies, with racism, with whatever. And it takes courage to stand up and say something. After the question and answer session, there's time for the pupils to meet the players, get autographs and have a chat. John Barnes says, he says, if you have been abused, you can just stand up and go again and be strong. I think it was really, really good because it influenced anyone that was in there. Maybe if they were a bully or something, that was very nice. I know how it, they feel after they have been abused and they are victims of racism and to uh, like you just stand up against it. We learn today. We need to have respect. We need to learn and we need to understand other people. We know now that it's not just about skin colour. It can be about the religion or anything. Back at St John's, the teachers will incorporate the subject of racism into lessons using the Show Racism the Red Card education pack. But first, the pupils are reminded of their Old Trafford experience by watching the DVD again. Once the video kicked in, you could literally see their faces, you could see it dawn on them, the realisation of what they were watching. It's actually quite a powerful DVD. They were quite shocked, actually, really, and really fired up to do something, to really try and make a difference. We're going to play a game this morning, all right? And I'm going to ask you a question, and if that applies to you, I'd like you to stand up. Okay, if you have, let me look at you, blonde hair, please could you stand up? If you have freckles, please could I ask you to stand up? If you are left handed, please could you stand up? If you have brown eyes, please could you stand up? Please could I ask those of you that are stood up? to go and stand over by the frame. And can you four come very close to each other? These four children are going to take part in the most wonderful, wonderful activities today. And the reason I've chosen you is I love the colour of your blue eyes. And Latrice, I love your hair. I don't like children really with freckles or with blonde hair. How do you feel about that? Irritated. Why? Because you're just separating all of us. Why have I put you there? Because we've got freckles. Children, what's that helping you begin to realise, Indira? Racism cannot, doesn't always have to be about your skin colour. It can be about your nationality or what you just look like. Do you think it's fair that they've been singled out? No. no. OK. Each year, Show Racism the Red Card holds a competition for schools. The entries must be a piece of creative work with an anti-racism theme, and this year St John's has decided to enter. The pupils are put into groups and asked to consider various racism-themed questions before creating their entry. Why is racism wrong? Because it can be like it can be hurtful, or and people could get really offended. Like it, it was on the DVD, like, people could get murdered. You can be a good person, but people can't just um, say something about you when they haven't got to know you. They don't know anything about you. Um, they don't know like what you're like on the inside. Do you remember on the DVD it said that um, sometimes people didn't get jobs because of their. So it can affect you, you know, as adults. It's not just children, isn't it? It's not just footballers, it's everybody. Before you begin to incorporate racism into any kind of lesson, you need to be really aware it's a sensitive issue. Um, you don't know the starting points that children are coming from. So just to be sensitive to that and set ground rules with them. Normally you're aware you want to get a balance, that that balance can't inhibit any kind of anti-racist behaviour and that it can't be tolerated in any of those lessons. It don't matter what you look like, you stay black, you stay white, you stay in between. We about what the questions were and we like put them in so it made sense and to, to get a point across. The question where it says what, when, what can you do when you're a target of racism, that's what, that's, that's that's what it is. The chorus so. help, helps us to, do, to understand it a bit more. Yeah, actually, yeah, and you say, 
we've been, we've brought the coach here to chat us. And we've brought the coach here because you've heard people saying stuff on the football pitch. But in the changing rooms, he said, you can't come in this shower because you're um, black, which I find is uh, terrible. Yeah, after this bit, we, need, we, need, um, we should say how we can stop it and then we'll go out to the assembly. Are wanting, are wanting more, are wanting more rather wanting than asking for. Are no. the bullies are wanting more because the bullies ask. No, no. What the bullies do? They just all the they bullies just do it to you. More. They want, they demand, right. they just get, don't they? They don't ask. All they're not polite. Are wanting more. Allowing children to express themselves freely is a really good way of them investigating, really looking into their own emotions and their own feelings about a project. So using movement, dance, drama, enables children, especially those that might not be as confident in writing something down or producing a piece of writing, really looking into the theme of racism. Um, and also they've, they've got role models out there, they've seen pop videos and films and they can use those of, as a starting point, really. Our first entry into the competition that we're going to look at is our drama group. OK, actors. Hello and welcome to this week's school council meeting. Sorry, I'm late, miss. Patrick, just sit down. I've held this special meeting because there's been racist marks going on in our school and this needs to stop because some children are so sad. But what is racism? Is there a volunteer to tell Rosie what racism is? Racism is a hatred for being a different culture or from a different religion. Now, today I've called in the sports coach to tell you what's been going on in the football pitch. I'm absolutely disgraced in what's happening. I'm not having it. The spectators have thrown racist comments at, at the players. I'm sick of it and it's not right. So I've brought someone that's experienced it. I just can't do it anymore. I get it every break, all the time. Everyone makes fun of me and gives me racist because of, oh, I'm different skin or religion. It's every day. Well done, Sophie. I think you're very brave. Does anyone have any ideas how to stop this in our school? Alethea, we should put posters on the class, class doors so when they walk through, they can realise how wrong racism is. Now, kids, you all know what to do, so... Show racism the red card! I'm the man who had to learn. He's the man who learned learn respect. Put it all together. Racism reject! 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 All you have to do is L U R. Trust us, it's not that hard. Learn and understand and reject. The little red cross show racism. 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 The little red cross Things, things, things have got to change. Take a look at yourself. Choice, choice, choice looks back at you. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, because now's the time to do what's right. You look into my eyes, wanting me to simplify with the crazy situation you want me to identify. It's a little joke, and yes, I quote, take responsibility and stop an old joke. The ignorance is gonna make it better now, it will only make it worse, worse. The deeper you get, the more you respect. Now is the time to make your choice. 